Right, another one of Bob Harper jukebox restorations, little videos. Got the same Continental 2 amplifier on the bench. This is one that was recently on the bench and is now back on the bench because I took it out to the customer's house, reinstalled it in the jukebox, and I wasn't happy, nor was he, to be honest, happy with the sound of it. Now, this is a bit confusing. I thought, what the hell's going on? This amplifier trusted out perfect. It sounded perfect. You must have heard it in one of the videos I put up. No problems. So, but this time when I took the amplifier out, I took the opportunity to take the crossover out. And while I was in there, I also noticed uh, in the uh, speaker enclosure that this crossover unit is located in is the wrong speaker as well. There's a PA speaker in there, not the original Jensen or Magnavox, whatever Amy fitted, some PA speaker in there. Um, so it's never going to sound exactly as it should, but it should have sound better than what it did. So I've now taken the crossover out, brought that back, brought the amplifier back. Everything's back here now, apart from the actual jukebox speakers. I've tested the cartridge uh, back here and I'm, I'm wired it correctly out of phase that it should be. Um, so the only thing left now, if it doesn't sound right when I take it back this time, is the speakers. And the one thing I will have to check is that they are at least the correct impedance, if nothing else. But anyway, what this video was about was the fact that I tested the amplifier with my ears last time on the bench. And I could only test one channel at a time with the scope and with a signal generator because I didn't have a, a stereo output um, function generator that could put two signals out of phase so I could only really do the actual final testing of the amplifier by ear with a stereo input from a magnetic cartridge wired out of phase as it is in the jukebox and it sounded great but anyway I could not see what was going on and I needed to know that what before I take this amp out again um, and the crossover and everything else that everything is working exactly as it should so I've invested in this little function generator very good value works very well and this is just a little demonstration to show you the principle of how these uh, Amy Continental amplifiers handle the out of phase signal so basically you know that the, the uh, pickup cartridge is wired out of phase which means that one side of the cartridge is wired plus to minus and the other side is wired minus to plus with respect to the amplifier out of phase if you don't do it out of phase, you will cancel your base, and this is what I'm about to demonstrate now. So I've got the function generator set up. It's got it's got two channels, as I said. It's set at a low frequency. They're both at the same amplitude. So if we turn one channel on, and you watch the scope now, you can see that we've got a trace on the bottom. And if I and if I turn the other channel on, which is exactly the same amplitude or level uh, and the same frequency, you listen. Hopefully, what you can hear is the bass reduced. There you are, there's two signals, double the input now going into the amplifier, same frequency, same amplitude, but half the volume. The volume of the left and right infill speakers on each side of the jukebox will be putting out their full output uh, as dictated by the crossover unit, but the main bass speaker will only be putting out less than half of what it should be. So now if I Go back into my um, sine wave generator here and I alter the phase, not the amplitude, so exactly the same input as going into the amplifier, just that the phase is being altered. And you'll see the phase shift on the scope here, and you also should hear it with the bass increasing on the uh, amplifier. So here we go. Is it zero at the moment, which is in phase with each other, as you can see? And now I'll gradually change the phase in. Um, hang on a sec. I'm not quite used to this generator yet, hang on. Oh Christ. There we go, right, we're on zero now. So now I'll change the phase. And you should hear the bass note change and you should see the trace move on the scope. And now hopefully you can hear the and I can feel the increased bass output of the speaker and you can also see that the traces are now completely out of phase with the other 180 degrees and if I put it quickly back down to zero you should uh, hear the bass drop and that's back down to in phase no bass if you disconnect one channel you'll get the bass back and if you switch that channel back on bass disappears Switch the other channel off, bass comes back, put both channels on, no bass. Just a little short demonstration of the Amy Stereo Round, how it generates double output bass 
uh, from the jukebox main center mono speaker. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting, and hopefully you can get your head round now how these Amy Stereo Round jukeboxes work.